What's going on guys? My name is I Missed Too Much and today we're going to be doing a tutorial series on the game Greyhack and I was originally going to start this with learning how to connect to the internet and do some of the missions and stuff but I realized through playing this game a little bit that some of the command line interface things that you have to do in this game isn't exactly straightforward to people that really don't know a whole lot about computers or just aren't used to that. So today we're going to start out by looking at some of the basics of the terminal and command line system and then we're going to finish off with looking at how the file system is structured and where you can find certain files you might need in the future. So we're going to start off by starting in the terminal and if you look right here it has this thing right here and you can enter commands like this uh, that won't do anything so I'm just going to go ahead and open that and I'll open this up a little bit just so you can see it a little better and so the first thing we really need to understand is what exactly this means so if we do PWD which stands for print working directory which basically shows us the file that we're in it shows us that we're in this user file slash Rombe now we're going to open this up you would notice that hey this right here and this right here are the same thing which means we're basically looking at this and if we were to confirm this we could do LS which means list and it shows you all the files in here you would see that the list of files matches everything in here. So basically the way you'd want to look at the terminal is that you're looking into this file system right here. And now let's say we wanted to move to a different file. We could do um, CD, which means change directory, downloads, and we hit LS again. You would see that there's nothing in there because the folder is empty, but that is just basically how you move around. If you ever want to go back a file, you just hit CD dot dot and it'll take you to the previous thing before just to confirm that. Next thing we want to look at is the other functionality of the command line system that really isn't running commands, which we'll explain in like probably the next tutorial and a couple ones after that. We'll look a little bit more into the actual, I guess, features that we can use in this. But I want to show you really quick how to say, look at what a file contains. So we do that by typing cat and then the file name, which in this game it only works for text files because if you do it with anything else, it really can't print anything. So we do mail.txt and it will show you what is actually in the mail file. And it's just a bunch of junk that we'd have to normally put into a different program. But just for the sake of this, we're not going to do that. And that's how that basically works. Now, if we want to get rid of all this stuff right here, we can just type clear and it will bring us back to this. So the last thing we really need to look at is how do we actually manipulate the files that are within the file system because yeah it's great that we have all these files in here and we can read them and do stuff with them but how exactly would we move them around and organize them and so we're going to start out by typing ls just so i can get a kind of look at all this and if you notice that some of the capital ones are actually directories so we do desktop and it has a couple things and stuff like that which we explained uh just a couple minutes ago but if we wanted to say create our own file to say put like you know the mail file in we would do mkdir which stands for make directory and then we would type our file name and now you'll see that there is another file in here now what happens if we want to move one of these things into our new file uh, we have either two choices we can either do copy which is cp and then we do mail dot text to text and if we notice that now the mail file is in here and if we go to text it's in there as well and that basically just copies the file into that file system and so like for the sake of this tutorial and the fact that I just really don't want that file there we have to remove it and this brings us up to one last thing about the terminal system at least in Linux is that there's something called sudo which stands for super user do basically it's a level of elevated Basically, it's a level of elevated permissions that are used to do things that actually manipulate the file system. It's really a security feature that Linux has to keep unauthorized programs from doing basically whatever they want to your computer. And it's a it's a huge kind of component of Linux. But in this game, it just really only works for a handful of things. So if we do sudo rm, which stands for remove, we can do mail.txt and it'll ask us for a password. And I'll enter my password and the file is gone. So now what if we just want to move this file? We have to also do sudo because we're really altering the file system. We're not just copying anything. We're actually physically moving things which can affect things, I guess, is the logic for this game. We do sudo mv mail.txt. It's the same syntax as the previous command to copy it. And then it's going to ask us for a password. And now the file is gone from there. If we go to text, 
it is there. And that is basically how you move things around in the Linux file system, which we're also going to cover a couple things that have to do with the actual file system itself and how it's set up. So right now we're in our user home folder, which is basically your home folder in Windows. I don't remember the exact name of it, but if we keep going back until we can't anymore, we'll have this slash, which is basically the root of your file system. And it's not really the root root because that's actually a separate user and a separate set of functions that you need, but we have all these over here. And really, we don't have to worry about this one. We don't have to worry about this one or this one. So these other files we're gonna go through and kind of explain what they do. So etc. has your passwd file or password file, which basically, says like the password for whatever is in your computer if you do it on linux it's actually encrypted and you can't read anything through it but in this game it just has placeholders i guess so people don't see your actual password um you have these two things which really don't do anything in this game and then you have over here you have your home folder which if you go through you have the folder that we were just at earlier and if you go to var you have your system log which is something you're going to use a lot when you're um, doing actual missions because it stores basically everything that you do that is important if you see earlier we deleted our file from the file system and it actually recorded that and if it was somebody else it'd have their ip address which is used for passive traces and stuff like that in the future so the final two files that we want to cover is bin which has all the commands that we were using before. If you see like sudo, ls, ps, clear, password, stuff like that. This is where I guess like all of the main, uh, the bin one specifically is where everybody can use these commands. And that's what that stores. But if we were to go to user, it also has a bin folder, which is the commands per user. And the nice thing about this, is if we were to say go over here and um, I don't know if I have any, yeah, I don't, but if we were to say like download a new program or something like that, we could actually, and it's one of the cool things about this game, is if we were to move it into like the bin or another folder, we could use it anywhere in the file system, no matter what directory we change it to, instead of just being having to be in the same directory as that program, which is really nice. And that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope this explained a little bit about how the Linux commands work and how the file system is structured a little bit better and if it did go ahead and give it a like if you want to see something else covered in this game uh, leave it in the comments below and if you want to see some more tutorials with this along with some reviews and some other playthroughs go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching this has been i miss too much peace out all right i know the video just kind of ended but really quick i also forgot to cover where exactly you could find more information on all these commands which is in the help folder right here it brings you up basically the entire manual of the game if you see right here, it explains a couple little things that we covered earlier. And if you go over here, it has the usage of all these commands, which is really helpful if you need to know how to do all this stuff and you don't really want to refer back to a video. Here is where you find all your commands. It even has some of the commands we'll look at in the future. But uh, I just wanted to go ahead and get that out there really quick just to kind of show you guys where you could find more information actually and then and within the game I forgot to cover it in the tutorial. So thank you guys for watching. Peace out.